to my channel and today I'm doing a like it always seems like I do these videos where I like just curl my hair but lots of people are like oh how do you do your hair and it's usually always the same way but I just want to do a little update on how I get my like loose natural looking curl waves whatever you want to call it it's just volumized curls and I really hope you guys enjoy this video it's super easy all you really need is a one inch curling iron I picked this up at Sally's Beauty like four years ago and it still works great. It's a Jebut de Paris curling iron and it's pink because I got it during um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month which is coming up so maybe they might be coming out with them again. But it's just a one inch curling iron and it's super easy to do. I love this hairstyle right now. It looks really nice on like any hair type and especially for the cooler months it's kind of nice to like jazz up your hair with a new style. Lots of people do straight hair so Curly hair is always sexy and it's something different and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and have a great day. First, I'm going to start off with brushing all of my hair out. You want to make sure your hair is tangled free so it's easier to style the hair. And I'm also parting my hair off to the side. Next, I'm going to use a heat protectant. This one is from Garnier Fructis and it says flat iron hairspray but I mean it's heat protectant and you can use it on pretty much any heat application. Now I'm putting my hair half up, half down, and this would make it a lot easier to style my hair. It just gets my sections separated and makes the process so much easier. All I'm going to do is take my one inch curling iron and wrap around the hair. Most of the time I will wrap the curls away from the face by placing the curling iron behind the hair, but if you want a different kind of effect, then place the curling iron in front of the hair and this will make the curls wrap in towards your face. But for me, it really doesn't matter. It's just how I feel. Now after I took the top section down, you can see I curl a lot of my curls back behind my face because I just think it looks a lot better. But for this one I placed it in front and that's fine. I find wrapping the hair around the burl gives it a nice like wavy curly texture instead of that really tight spiral look. But if you always want to mix in a couple of curls with a clamp, that always will look good. To finish this look off, I'm going to curl my bangs. I already have a tutorial on my channel if you want to check it out. But I used the clamp for this part, and by curling your bangs, it will make the style look more flowy and more natural. To finish this look off, just comb through your hairs with your fingers and shake that style out. This will give it a really nice loose effect and it's really cute when you shake your hair out because it also adds lots of volume. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you're having a great day. See you later.